hey and welcome to another video in this video i'm going to be showing how to how to display the vehicle performance dev this video comes courtesy of a comment left on a previous video although i won't be able to complete the entire request i will be able to do the second half of it the first half pertaining to the vehicle selection i won't be able to do due to how the tutorial series was initially set up in its foundation stages but i will go into that in a different video and with that let's get started so for this video we're going to need a couple of things we're going to need the brakes widget engine widget bp save game sports car pawn and the upgrade widget so we're going to start in the sports car pawn so in the sports car pawn we're going to get started in the engine upgrade function and then from here select one of the three nodes that says set max engine torque and then drag off from the torque value and then say promote to variable this will be left as torque and then take the variable and then connect it to the other nodes as well and then i'm going to move this value from the category default and we're going to put it in performance and then we're going to compile and save and then we're going to set the default top value to the default value of the vehicle so for the sports car horn the default max torque is 750 which we're going to set the torque value at compile save and then we're going to head over to the brake upgrade and then in the brake upgrade where it says set wheel max brake torque the index 0 and 1 are the front brakes so from either one of them drag off from the torque value and then promote the variable this variable will be called front brakes and then connect that to the other index so 0 and 1 will use the same variable and then index 2 and 3 will use the same variable as well from the torque drag off and then promote the variable and then this will be known as the rear brakes and then connect it to the other node and then just connect the front brakes and rear brakes to the other nodes as well respective to 0, 1 being the front, 2 and 3 being the rear. Then once you're finished, compile and save and then we're going to head over to the event graph. And then in the event graph where the load function is set up, we're going to add two new custom events. So the first custom event is going to be called, uh, we're going to call it torque load. And then this is going to be the engine torque and then drag off from the torque load and we'll say the save game exists. And then the save game we're going to look for is we're going to create a new one. We're going to call this engine torque. And then from the return value, drag off and then look for a branch node. And then from the branch true, drag off and then load game from slot. And then yet again here, it's the engine torque. So to make things a little bit easier, what, we, what I'm going to do is from the slot name, I'm going to drag off and then promote this to a variable just so that we don't have to constantly remember what the, the slot names are and then this one will be engine torque we can do this for all the other ones as well and then from the load game from slot drag off from the return value and then cost to bp save game and then from here we actually need to go and create new variables in the bp save game so in the bp save game blueprint we're going to create three new variables first variable we're going to call it torque and then with the torque selected change it to a float value and then control d the next one is going to be the front brakes and then control d again and then rear brakes and then that's the three new variables we need to add compile and save then we can close the pp save game and then back in the sports car one blueprint drag off from the as pp save game and then get torque and then from the performance category drag in the torque hold alt and then set torque and then that will be that and then by the money save at the end after the set money drag off and then look for torque load and then the same by the branch for the false drag off and then look for torque load and then the next custom event we're adding is for the brakes so we're gonna call it load brake torque and then from the load brake torque we're gonna drag off the save game exist and then the save game we're gonna call it brake torque drag off from the slot name promote the variable from the that save game exists return value drag off look for a branch from the branch true load game from slot connect the break torque variable so now compile and save and then from the load game from slot drag off and then cost to bp save game and then from the sbp save game drag off and then get front breaks drag off again from the sbp save game and then get rear breaks and then hold alt and drag in the front break variable hold alt drag in the rear brake variable connect the rear brakes to the rear brakes front brake to front brakes connect the execution pins and then that will be it and then by the 
top load branch falls we're gonna look for load brake torque as well as at the end after the set torque drag off and then load brake torque and then we're gonna compile and save and that will be it for everything we need to do in the sports car so now we're gonna head over to the engine widget in the engine widget by the designer we're gonna add a new vertical box drop it on the canvas and then this vertical box we're gonna rename it to stats and then in the vertical box we're gonna add a horizontal box and then just move the vertical box to the center of the screen anchor it to the left and then set the values to position y negative 190 size x 515 size y 360 and then in the horizontal box we are going to add two text blocks no not two we're going to add three the first text block in the text we're going to change it and rename it as torque and then by the appearance font family font change it to the custom font and then the size we're going to set it to 30 and then the second text block we're going to remove any text from it change the text family and then the size as well and then the last one we're going to change it spacebar and m for newton meters change the text and then change the size to 30. And then we're going to compile and save and then we're going to duplicate that horizontal box two more times Control d Control d and then the other two the formerly one known as torque we're going to change this to front brakes and then the third one from known as torque we're going to change this to rear brakes and then we're just going to change a couple of things select the horizontal box either one of them changes the size to fill the vertical alignment to left and then not the horizontal alignment to left the vertical alignment to center and do the same for the other ones as well and then that is what it looks like afterwards and then compile and save then we're going to head over to the graph and then in the graph we're going to look for on click stage one after we subtract the money from purchase we're going to add the new code just move it out the way then we're going to hold control and drag in the sports car variable from the sports car variable we're going to drag off and then get torque and then from the get torque drag off and then look for add and then to keep things simple for the purpose of the video i'm just going to add 50 to it and then from the sports car drag off again and then set torque and then connect the add 50 to the set torque and then connect the execution pin and then drag over the newly added nodes and a comment and then set new engine torque value and then we're going to move along to the end of the code after the save new money value and we're going to create the very same piece of code that we have here so drag off after the save game slot and then create save game object and then the save game object is going to be the pp class and then hold alt and drag in the save game we're going to set it and then from the set save game drag off and then set torque hold control and drag in the sports car variable drag off the sports car variable and then get torque and then connect the get torque to the set torque and then hold control and drag in the save game drag off from the save game and then save game to slot connect the execution pin and then the one we're looking for to save is the engine torque and then we can promote this to a variable as well just make sure that this one is spelled the same as the one in the sports car so if you're not certain you can come over to the sports car f2 control c and then head over to the upgrade widget and then rename this one as well f2 control v make sure it's the same now you know that it is spelled exactly the same and then that will be it for the code and then we'll compile and save and then we're going to go and test out the code to make sure that it works before that we are going to disconnect the money load from the brakes load so that we can use the money without restriction oh before that so we can see in the engine widget head over to designer and then in the designer by the torque where the torque is the middle text block by the text bind click on the bind head over to sports car and then select torque and then do the same for the other for the other text blocks as well that don't have any text bind sports car and then front brakes and then for the rear brakes the same one the one that doesn't have any text bind sports car rear brakes and then compile and save head over to the garage level save all 
and then we're gonna play the level. So we're gonna head over to our performance engine. As you can see, the torque is currently at 750, the front brakes at 4750, and the rear brakes at 1750. I need to go and correct these in a minute because these are not the default values. But if we click on stage one, as you can see, the torque has gone up to 800 now, so we've added 50. But then the problem arises in that if you click stage one again, because there's no restriction on it, it's gonna go up to 850 and then again 900. So we want to prevent this from happening. So what we're gonna do is in the engine widget, in the graph, we're gonna create a new function. And then this function is gonna be disable buttons. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did in the settings widget video. We're gonna disable the button once it has been selected. And then on the node, select the node and then by the inputs we're gonna have three inputs first input is stage one second input is stage two third input is stage three and then we're gonna select the stage one drag it in get drag it to the top and then drag off from it and then look for enabled and then set is enabled connect the execution pin and then from the stage one input on the node drag off from it and then look for not not boolean connect that to the in is enabled and then select the three nodes the not the stage one and the is enabled control p and then connect the not to the stage two take the stage two from the variables and then drag and drop it over the stage one the second stage one connect the execution pins and then control v connect the nodes to stage three take the stage three from the variables drop that over the stage one at the end and then connect the execution pins and then compile and save and then we're going to create another function there's going to be load disable buttons and then from the load disable buttons drag off and then does save game exist and then the save game we're going to be looking for is the engine save because the boolean variables are connected to the engine save and not the engine torque so we're looking for the engine save and then drag off from the turn value branch and then from the branch true load game from slot and then the slot will be the engine save so drag off from the slot name and then from auto variable so we're going to call it engine save and then connect the engine save to the load save and then from the turn value we're going to drag off and then cost to bp save game and then from the as bp save game drag off and then get e stage one Drag off from the E stage one and then branch, connect the execution pins. And then from the true, we're gonna drag in the disable buttons function we just created and then connect the true to the execution and then select stage one. And then once again, from the SBP save game, drag off and then get E stage two. And then we're gonna copy the branch and the disable button function, drag over the two of them, control D. And then connect the second branch to the false of the first branch connect the e stage 2 to the condition and then to prevent any kind of cheating so to speak we're going to disable for stage 2 and disable for stage 1 and stage 2 so that we can prevent the loop from happening so that we're going to force the player to continuously go up in progression and then we're going to do the same we actually just control v because we already copied the branch and disable function and then from the SBP save game, drag off, get E stage three, connect that to the condition for the branch, connect the branch to the false. And then for stage three, we're gonna select all three. So we know that there is no more for the player to do. We have reached the maximum upgrade that is allowed. And then we're gonna compile and save, head over to the event graph. And then with the code we added for stage one, we're gonna go all the way to the end after the save game to slot. And then we're gonna drag in the disable buttons function and then connect the execution pin. And then for stage one, we're disabling stage one. And then in a free space, probably after the on click back, we're gonna add a new custom event. And then this custom event, we're gonna call it load buttons. And then for that custom event, we're just gonna drag in the load disable buttons function connect that those two together and then by the event construct after the set sports core gonna drag off and then load buttons the custom event and then we're gonna compile and save 
And then for this to work, we need to go back to the sports car so we can see if it actually does work because we need to reconnect the load money. So we're gonna save all, back in the level, play the level, and then performance, engine. So now you can see, since we connected the things again, and we did select stage one previously, it has been loaded, and now we can no longer select stage one anymore. It has been disabled, but you can see there the engine torque value is sitting at 900 because we did select the um, stage one quite a few times. And as you can see, the front brakes and rear brakes are no longer being loaded because there isn't anything safe with in the BP save game. So we're gonna set that up in a moment so we can close the level. And then I'm gonna go complete the code for the engine widget real quick and then I'll come back. So I've completed copying the code for the other two stages, stage two and stage three. So it's pretty much the same, just copy over the um, set new engine torque value code, sports car target addition, and then just add them to the code for the other two. The same for the save new torque value, just copy over the code and attach it to the other on click stages as well. And then for the disable buttons function is set at the end, stage one will disable stage one, stage two will keep stage one disabled, and then disable stage two as well, and then stage three. We'll keep the other two disabled and then disable stage three as well. And then that will be everything for the engine widget. And then we're going to compile and save. And then we're done with that. So we're going to head over to the brakes. And then in the brakes, we're going to do the same thing in the designer. We're going to add the stat display panel over here. So we're going to add a vertical box. And then in the vertical box, we're going to add a horizontal box. And then in the horizontal, we're going to add the text box. Rename the horizontal to stats, set its anchor to the left, and then change the position Y to negative 190, size X to 515, size Y 360, and then the horizontal box inside, size set to full, horizontal alignment left, vertical alignment middle, change the text block, the first text block will be known as torque, the model text block, we're going to remove any value in there and then we're going to set the binding to sports car torque, change the font to the custom font and then the size to 30. And then the last text block, we're going to rename it to spacebar and M, change the font and then change the size. And then we're going to duplicate it twice and then head into the second duplication, the second text block and then change each binding to sports car front brakes and then just rename the first text block front brakes not rename it change the text content and then do the same for the last one rename its content to rear brakes change its binding for the second text block to sports car rear brakes that's everything compile save head over to the graph and then in here we're going to do the same thing after the subtract money from purchase for purchase move everything else out the way and then we're going to control drag in the sports car variable from the sports car variable drag off and then get front brakes drag off the sports car variable again and then get rear brakes and then from the front brakes drag off add and then for the brakes we're going to add 250 duplicate the add connect it to the rear brakes and then from the sports car variable again drag off and then set front brakes connect the add connect it to the front brakes the front brakes from the sports car variable again drag off set rear brakes connect the add that's connected to the rear brakes to the set rear brakes connect the execution pins and then head over to the end after the save new money value after the save game to slot drag off create save game object save game class bp save game hold alt drag in the save game variable connect the blue pins and the execution pin and then hold control drag in the sports car variable drag off from the sports car variable and then get front brakes drag off from the sports car variable again and then get rear brakes from the set save game drag off set front brakes and then drag off from the set save game once again and then set rear brakes and then connect the execution pins connect the rear brakes to the rear brakes front brakes to front brakes and then in the sports car point real quick, the front brakes default value should be set at 4,500 for the sports car. 
and the rear brakes should be 1500 and then just compile and save then we're gonna head back to the brakes widget and then wanna hold control, drag in the save game, and then wanna drag off in the save game, and then save game to slot, and connect execution pin, slot name, drag off in the slot name, from out to variable. The slot name is brake torque, just make sure it's the same as for the sports car. F2, control C, head over to the brakes widget, F2, control V, and then wanna compile and save. And then by the functions, create new function, disable buttons, and then, the, and then select the disable buttons node, add three inputs, first input, stage one, second input, stage two, third input, stage three, and then drag in the stage one variable, hold control, drag it in, drag off, look for enable, is enabled under widgets and then drag off from the stage one look for not not boolean connect that to the in is able connect the execution pin select the three nodes control d connect the not to stage two take the stage two variable drag it over the stage one the second stage one and then control v and then move the nodes into place Connect the knot to stage three, take the stage three, drag it over the duplicated stage one, connect the execution pins, and then compile and save. Head over to the event graph at the end of the save game to slot, drag in the disable buttons, connect it, and then select stage one. And then we're gonna do the same, create the new function called load disable buttons. And then from the load signal buttons, drag off, and then does save game exist? The slot name will be the break save. So we're gonna head over to the event graph, go over to where the breaks are saved, the break save, slot name, drag off, promote that to a variable, and then compile and save. Head back to the load, drag in the newly created variable, and then from the return value, drag off, get a branch from the true load game from slot, drag in the Run the break save and then from the center value you drag off and then cost to BP save game. From the S BP save game, drag off and then get B stage one. Drag off from the get B stage one branch. Connect the execution. Drag in the disable buttons. Connect the execution. Select stage one. And then from the S BP save game, drag off, get B stage two. Copy the branch and the disable buttons function. Connect the B stage two to the condition, the branch to the false, and then disable one and two, and then control V, and then from the S BP save game, drag off, get B stage three, connect that to the branch, and then deselect one, two, and three, connect the branch to the false, and then that is everything. Compile and save, head over to the event graph, then in a free space, add a new custom event. The custom event will be load buttons. Drag in the load disable buttons function. Connect the two. And then after the set sports car, drag off and then look for load buttons. And then what we're going to do now is going to go test it out again. I'm going to compile and save. And then save all in the level. Play the level. Head into performance. Breaks. So it's not displaying anything, although this button has been deselected. So I fixed the problem. So I play in the level now. And I go to performance and I go breaks. The value has been displayed again. I think it's because there was a conflict because we've been playing around with the values and everything. So to get it to work again in the breaks widget, disconnect the load buttons and then also disconnect the disable buttons and then head into the sports car pawn disable the money load from the brakes disable them and then you need to go into the level with everything disconnected that i just mentioned you need to play the level and then head into the performance and then brakes and then click on stage one because then it will be enabled again so once you click on stage one it will then overwrite whatever was saved previously and then set the new values over that and then once you've done with that, then you can reconnect all the nodes once again 
that were previously disconnected. I think it's because once you actually load everything in, because um, I kind of didn't do it the same way I did with the engine and then connected everything before I played through the level. So with the engine, because I connected the load buttons after performing the upgrade, and but then with the brakes, I connected the load before I did the upgrade. So then it still loaded the previous data that was saved from all the other videos. So it loaded all of that in so that the new data we just added wasn't wasn't data added so now we had to disconnect everything and then add new data into it and then load that newly saved data in so but after you've done all that then it should work properly once again so with that i'm just going to complete the code again and then i'll see you afterwards so i'm done uh, adding the pieces of code to the other stages much like with the engine we disable all the buttons once for stage one, disable stage one, stage two, disable stage two, and then stage three, disable one, two, and three. And then that will be everything for this part. So the code is finished, but now I'm gonna add that little, the stats portion to the widget for the upgrade as well. So that as soon as you enter the um, upgrade area, so to speak, and then you can already see what the stats are instead of only you only see them when you go into the engine or brakes upgrade them so we're going to head over and add a vertical box and then rename the vertical box to stats and then in the vertical box we got to add a horizontal box and then in the horizontal box we're going to add three text blocks this needs to be in here and then the same with the other one anchor it to the left change its position y negative 190 size x 550 size y 360 and then the horizontal box alignment size full horizontal alignment left vertical alignment center and then when i change the text for the first one i to torque change the text family and then the size and then the second one the middle one remove the text and then the last one base and m change the text change the size to 30 and then we're gonna head over to the graph editor real quick and then in the event construct we're gonna move everything a little bit out the way over here. Let's move that out. And then we're gonna add a sequence node. And then by the sequence node, then one we're gonna drag off and then get all actors class. The class we're gonna get is the sports car. And then from the out actors, we're gonna get the copy. And then from the get copy, drag off and then promote to variable. And then this variable is gonna be sports car. And then connect the execution pin. And then compile and save. Head back to the designer, select the metal text block, select the text bind, sports car, torque, and then we're gonna duplicate the horizontal box twice, change the text from torque to front brakes, and then change the metal text block binding, sports car, front brakes, and the last one, change it from torque to rear brakes, change the metal binding, sports car, rear brakes, compile, save, gonna head over to the level, save all, Play the level, I'm gonna add performance. As you can see now, we have torque, front brakes, rear brakes, going to engine. It has been deselected, you can't select that one anymore. Heading to brakes, also, same thing. And then that will be it. If you have any problems with the loading, then you, you might wanna check out in the event graph for each one just make sure that by the save game to slot you have the save game connected to the save game object i ran into this problem while i was play testing where some of the things didn't want to work and then the same for the engine as well if nothing is being loaded then just make sure by the save game to slot you have the save game connected to the save game object and then with that that brings us to the end of the video and until the next one